Hey everybody, this video is going to be super quick. Uh, we have a lot of biostats videos and we just want to clear up some terms for people that some people are having some questions about some of the terms. Um, they are true positive, true negative, false positive, and false negative. And you can see the four uh, abbreviated or acronym uh, type terms up here on our whiteboard. Uh, <clears throat> let's go with, with the true positive and true negative first. What this means is <clears throat> there's a disease process or but let's just say for today there's a disease process, but there's something that you're testing for, and then there's a, a test to try and uh, determine if that disease is present. So like, let's say, you know, to really uh, elaborate here, let's say that our, our disease is HIV, and our test is like a, a Western plot or whatever, or an ELISA or whatever. So we have our test, we have our disease. Now there are different outcomes, right? Because no test is perfect for picking up a disease. There can be all sorts of variables that affect this. There can be different parts of the disease progress that can affect this. There can be different windows or latency periods. But in any case, any test is rated by how good it is by these biostats, uh, this biostat statistic nomenclature that we've been using, like specificity, sensitivity, and all of those types of uh, all that nomenclature relies on these four terms. So let's go back to basics of this video. What is a true positive? A true positive is when your test gives you a positive result and the person actually has the disease. So it's almost like saying, was the test positive? Yes. Was the disease actually there? Yes. It's like double positive. So then a true negative, it's true, right? The test, the test's result is true and the test result was a negative. So you say, was the test negative? Yes, it was. And you say, did the person actually have the disease? Well, no, they didn't. So it was a true test. Now, like we talked about, no test is perfect, right? There can be false negatives or false positives. Now, what does that mean? Think of it, rather than thinking about HIV, let's think about like a urine pregnancy test where you take uh, one of those little dipsticks for urine home and you urinate on the stick and it's supposed to tell you, you know, uh, uh, if you're pregnant or not very quickly. This is very important for a lot of different females. Now, you can have a false positive on that pregnancy test. What does that mean? What does this term mean? FP. Well, the P tells you that the test was positive. So the person, you know, urinated on the stick and the stick said, hey, uh, female, you are indeed pregnant. However, this test is not perfect, right? And in fact, in this case, a false reading means that, well, in this case, we're going to say like disease, but this is, you know, pregnancy. They actually did not have the pregnancy or did not have the affliction, the, the disease, the pregnancy. And so this is false because these two, the positive and the minus, do not agree. And likewise, this false negative, negative tells us, hey, the test came back negative. So some you know, female was worried that she was pregnant. She didn't want to be pregnant at this point in her life, and she was worried. So she took this test home, she urinated on it, and she said, oh my gosh, whew, that's a relief. I am not pregnant. So the test says she's not pregnant. However, in reality... This test was deemed false because in reality, she was pregnant. And for whatever reason, the test did not pick up on it. So those are these four terms, true positive, true negative, false positive, false negative. Uh, whenever you see this true or hear the word true, basically think that these two things align. The test and the status of the disease are correspond to one another. They corroborate. Uh, whereas false, they disagree. Uh, as one might guess, you prefer a test that has high amounts of true results, right? High amounts of uh, true positives, true negatives as opposed, to, as opposed to false. And we have lots of other videos about that. Definitely check out our channel if you're interested.